What's in a smile? Few works of art have made such an impact on the world as Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa. To many people, it is her unique and enigmatic smile that has made such a lasting impression. So, what's in a smile? And why do we do it? Smiles seem to be as natural to us as breathing. It's not surprising, therefore, that smiles have a long history in our evolution. In fact, the roots of smiling go all the way back to our primate heritage. Primates often show their teeth to communicate fear or readiness to attack. But our ability to smile most likely developed from how primates also draw back their lips to show closed teeth as a sign of non-aggression. While smiles might express various degrees of sincerity, it seems their beneficial effects remain the same regardless. This is because the act of smiling has proven therapeutic benefits and may even be essential for good health. The transformative effects of smiling are also infectious. The people around you will return the smile you give them and their bodies will begin their own cycle of feel-good changes as a result. So, just keep smiling and all your worries will go away. Enigmatic. Enigmatic, mysterious. Example. Art experts have been fascinated by the Mona Lisa's enigmatic smile for hundreds of years. Mischievous smirk. Mischievous smirk. A cheeky little smile. Maria knew the secret but didn't say anything. She just giggled and gave us a mischievous smirk. Beaming grin. A very broad and happy smile. Maria was so happy to see us that she smiled and gave us a huge beaming grin. Womb The organ in the woman's body where a baby grows until it's born. Babies grow in the womb before they are born. Reflex A natural response to a physical effect. When the ball was thrown at the cricket player, his natural reflex was to catch it. Heritage. A society's manners and customs passed on from one generation to another. Folk music plays an important part in the island's rich cultural heritage. Non-aggression. A lack of a desire to fight. Angela always smiles as a sign of non-aggression when dealing with difficult customers. Engage. Engage. To use a muscle to do something. Moving your arms engages different muscles in the bicep and forearm. Therapeutic. Medial. Medication has therapeutic effects that help to boost recovery from illness. Dopamine. A body chemical that develops a sense of pleasure. When we are happy, the body releases dopamine that develops our sense of pleasure. Mood enhancing. Mood enhancing. That improves the way you feel. Smiling is mood enhancing and makes you and the people around you feel happier. Endorphin. A body chemical that relieves pain and develops a sense of happiness. Endorphins in our body help to relieve pain and increase our sense of well-being. Postulate The scientist postulated a new theory during his research. Mia Mia Amy is more than a mere child. 
She's a math genius. Pleasure inducing. That brings a feeling of enjoyment. Chocolate can be very pleasure inducing and is well known comfort food. Transformative. Bring about changes for the better. A simple smile can have lots of transformative effects, such as lower blood pressure and improving mood. Infectious. Spreading quickly. Infectious. Laughing can be very infectious and quickly spread to the people around you. What's in a smile? Few works of art have made such an impact on the world as Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa. Yet why has this painting made such an impression on us? To many people's minds, it's because of the lasting power of her unique and enigmatic smile. Smiling is a universal expression that captures our imagination and lifts our spirits. Be it the Mona Lisa's mischievous smirk or a loved one's beaming grin reaching from ear to ear. However, what's in a smile and why do we do it? Scientists are now examining this simple act to reveal its mysterious secrets and powers. Smiles seem to be as natural to us as breathing. Smiling has been recorded in babies in the womb as a reflex, just as making the motions of breathing and blinking are. And even blind babies smile when they feel happiness, for example, at the sound of their mother's voice. In this context, it's not surprising that smiles have a long history in our evolution. In fact, the roots of smiling go all the way back to our primate heritage. Primates often show their teeth to communicate fear or readiness to attack, but our ability to smile most likely developed from how primates also draw back their lips to show closed teeth as a sign of non-aggression. And yet, smiles are not quite so simple. First of all, there are two kinds of smile involving totally distinct muscle groups. The polite social smile involves muscles around the mouth and the cheeks. Some people think it is not as sincere as the smile that also engages the muscles around the eye area. This kind of smile, the Duchenne smile, named after the scientist who first recognized the difference between the two types, displays real emotional warmth. While smiles might express various degrees of sincerity, it seems their beneficial effects remain the same regardless. This is because the act of smiling has proven therapeutic benefits and may even be essential for good health. It increases the level of reward neurotransmitters such as dopamine, releases mood-enhancing endorphins, and lowers blood pressure. Charles Darwin, the scientist who developed the theory of evolution, noticed this and postulated that smiling is more than a mere response to positive emotions but is pleasure-inducing in and of itself. These transformative effects are also infectious and can be passed on to others. The people around you will return the smile you give them and then their bodies begin their own cycle of feel-good changes too. So, the next time you're unhappy or worried and someone tells you to grin and bear it, maybe you should follow their advice and you might really feel your troubles fly away.